Hey guys, this is Kevin with Mix Coach. I thought I would put together a tutorial for you because uh, several people have asked me to go over how I tune vocals. So I'm going to show you how to tune vocals pretty easily in about five steps, okay? So the first thing you'd want to do, whether you're working in Pro Tools or wherever your DAW is, uh, you'd want to clean up the tracks. In other words, you would want to make sure that the punches were good, that there were no cutoff breaths, because those are easier to change in your DAW and not Melodyne, okay? So the first thing you'd want to do is to clean it up and then you want to track it in, okay? And all you do is you put Melodyne across the, the track. Now I'm not showing any tracks here and I'm, not, I'm also not going to let you hear any audio. I'm going to show you what I do offline. And sometimes what I'll do is I won't even listen to this until uh, the last step. So the first thing you want to do is clean it up. The second thing you want to do is track it in. Uh, so you'll just hit the transfer button. Now if we're just if we're just grabbing one track at a time, what we'll do is uh, we'll just hit the transfer button and it'll track all this stuff in. Okay, and then what you want to do is uh, set it up in this mode here. This is the cutting tool and um, and this is how you would go through and cut. And first of all, let me show you a couple of shortcuts, okay? The first shortcut you're going to want to know is the option command. And that is this. You hold this and it turns into a magnifying glass. And that will turn this up, okay? Now, if you hold shift and command, which is pretty close, you, you're able to move this around, okay? And you're going to see me do that quite a bit. The third and final shortcut you're going to want to see is the control and what that does is that wherever you click on the screen, when you're holding control, it brings up this menu here, which is the same as this menu, but the more you can save yourself from moving around on the screen, the better off you are, okay? So those three shortcuts are going to come in really handy. So you've cleaned up the tracks, you've got the breaths and the punches fixed, uh, and even consolidated if you choose to do so. I usually don't. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is track it in this way. And I'm going to turn that off because this is already tracked in. Now we're going to start double clicking. Now the, the trick to uh, tuning in Melodyne is the cut. Okay. Now what you're what you're looking for um, in most cases are things like this. This is a lick. This is where someone scoop. This is not a lick. This is what I call a scoop. So this is where somebody has going going is starting on the A and then going to the B flat or the A sharp and you just want to cut that out. You usually cut right where the line comes through the blob. Okay, same thing here. Now, I, I don't worry about things like this because the reason you cut is to, because Melodyne takes an average. Of, here's a good example right here. Melodyne takes the average of what you're uh, of what the blob is the average of the of the note the line that's coming through what I'm pointing to the line that's actually the pitch okay the blob is what Melodyne perceives that pitch to be and as you see uh, if you looked at just the line with no blob you'll see that he starts on a G and then he ends up on an A which that's pretty accurate right he starts right in the middle of the G and he goes to pretty much the middle of the A but what does Melodyne see? It sees somewhere between a G sharp and an A. And when you double click, which is something I'm going to show you later, it's going to tune it to where it's not really accurate either way Most in most cases. I find the most accuracy, and you can hit Command Z, uh, that's another shortcut, but uh, when you're in this screen it actually does, uh, it does functions within this, um, within the plugin. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this and I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to cut it where the blob comes through okay so that's a scoop these are fall offs here and a lot of times if the fall off is really long the average doesn't bother this as you can see the blob is right on the C even though he took off uh, and went uh, south a little bit here uh, you're looking for if you're really tuned in you're looking for where the blob is versus where the lines are now this is a quick lick what I call a quick lick um, uh, you just click that and you can see that it, there's th there's two distinct notes now and not an average of, of the notes. See, this is pretty accurately right in the middle of the G. See the G here? And this is pretty accurately in the middle of the G sharp. But Melodyne sees it as a different note, so you cut that out. Okay. One thing you want to do is to, is to get this right to where you can easily see notes like this where the blob is in the middle between an A and a G sharp, but the two notes are differently. 
or different, okay? So you want to zoom in or out to where it's easy to, to detect those notes, okay? Here's another quick lick. And what I usually do is just cut the, the top part out of it. Now you've got three distinct notes, okay? Okay, so another function that you want to do is look at the bottom line here. And if there's a part where he's not singing, just click this. You can also navigate this way. So one other thing that you might uh, find helpful is that if you click on this top bar and just drag it to the right or left, you can hear the audio that you're tuning. Even though you can't hear it on this video, it's there. Okay. Now I look at tuning like this almost like an art form, you know, like being a musician. No two musicians do the same thing every time. And when you're tuning, it may not look like this, but you have to uh, find a system that works for you. Uh, figure out whether, you know, what, what works for you. This works for me. So you'll see me mostly cutting out scoops and words. Now you can see that's a word there. Sometimes I'll cut out a word if it's on a different note because usually words you know they differ in, in notes so I usually cut those out just for the the most accurate results now you can go too crazy on this and you can get too much stuff going on you can you can cut too much stuff out to where it doesn't sound like a vocal performance um, see there's a little quick note lick right there okay this right here with no note on it is usually an S and a lot of times I'll cut those out, but I'm not, I'm not um, hardcore about it. A lot of times, sometimes I'll cut it out, sometimes I won't. Uh, I have never gone back and said, man, I wish I would have cut all the S's out because it really doesn't make that much difference to my ears. Uh, but these notes, these little licks that I'm cutting out, those do make a difference. There's a quick lick there. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit so that you don't get terribly bored, but I'm just continuing to cut licks out and little, uh, little discrepancies where the blob and the line do not match up. Okay, so as you can see down here at the bottom, we're at the end of the song. The next step is the easiest step, and that is I'm going to hold my control key down and go to select all. That means I'm going to select all of the files. If I were to zoom out by grabbing this guy, you'd see that all the, all the uh, notes are, are uh, or currently select selected. So now, as you can see, there's a shadow behind. That's the note that uh, it will be tuned to. You might want to take a quick look at it. And then just find one note and double click, and that quantizes it to the nearest note. That's the easiest step because we're done with that step. Uh, select all and double click. Now, the most critical step is to actually go back and listen. Okay, so now what you'll want to do is go back to the top of the song, listen to it with the music in it, and make sure that, because there will be notes that are tuned to the wrong note. Okay, there, um, there just will be, but I find this is the quickest. I'm familiar with enough with the song that I know what the melody should be, and so I'll go back and I'll listen to these notes, and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll, things like this, you know, I'll listen to that lick right there and I'll make sure that, that we're good to go. This is the most critical step. You go through and you listen to every note and you make sure that the performance is good. Making sure that you didn't accidentally tune to the wrong note. And then uh, the next thing you do is, uh, is you print it. I usually like to bounce these to a separate track and, uh, and then I'll leave the tune track bypass so that I can go back because inevitably you will have tuned to a wrong note or the producer will say yeah I meant for that to be that note uh, can you change it back and then you want to have an easy um, way out a, a quick plan B right so anyway so there are some simple steps to quickly tuning a vocal I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps let me know okay thanks a lot this is Kevin from Mix Coach Talk to you soon.